third subsystem, the economics. The economics is comprised of two business model blocks, the cost structure and the revenue engine. At the first level, and we already discussed that in the former period, you put that together to assess the viability of your business. But there is another way to look at it, is how can you creatively rethink both components, the interplay between both components, to sometimes lower some barriers of adoption for your product. Let me take two examples. Navi Raju, in his book Frugal Innovation, talks about a cereal producer in Argentina, Groboco Patel. Groboco Patel became the first cereal producer in Argentina for one reason. They couldn't afford to buy the land that they needed to produce cereal, so they started to rent it. So they converted an investment into a fixed cost or even a variable cost at a larger scale. That simple change in the cost structure allowed Groboco Patel to actually scale their business up to becoming the first cereal producer in Argentina. But an even more striking example of creative use of the economics to... And do. But an, even, but an even more striking illustration of the creative use of the economics of the business model to build a competitive advantage is brought by Imagis. Imagis is a startup that tackled one problem, the mutation to digital of movie theaters. That mutation raised a number of problems. First one, a digital projector costs on average five times the cost of an analog projector. And the problem that it raised is that, of course, you cannot multiply by five the price of the movie tickets. So you cannot actually get your customers to pay for that. But the problem that comes along with that is that who gains from the mutation to digital? Someone else, not the movie theater, the film distributor. Because instead of producing film copies, hard film copies, you're going to produce digital files. It was assessed at the beginning of that mutation that the saving would be about 900 per film copy. Which means that on average the saving, if you scale that up to the French movie market, would be about 80 to 100 million euros of savings. But the problem is that the guy who benefits from that, who makes some savings, is actually very far away from the guy who has to invest for the whole distribution chain can move to digital. So Images put in place a very innovative business model to actually tackle that challenge. They rented the digital projector at a price that made it transparent for the movie theater, the same rental price than the old analog projector would cost. And they contracted with the film distributor in such a way that the film distributor would pay them a fee every time they would distribute a file for a movie instead of a hard film copy. The whole model was built in such a way that the fees paid by the distributor actually compensates the difference between the rental price of the digital projector to the movie theater and the actual leasing price of the projector. That very creative model allowed Images to become one of the fastest uh, growing French growing company. It was uh, awarded by Deloitte in 2013 as one of the most innovative and fastest growing company. So remember that the economics, uh, the combination of these two blocks the cost structure and the revenue model can open some very unusual creative space for lowering some barriers for adoption for your product, overcoming some hurdles that your customers may, might be confronted to. And it also, of course, may have a direct impact on the cash flow dynamic of your business.